Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Lovely Day. Okay, that's the bass part. Uh, I'll show you the guitar part in just a sec. All right, so that's the uh, that's that little intro. It's it's on a bass though, uh, and I, I tabbed it out for you. So this there'll be a link you can look at my work. That's what I'm looking at. All right, so let's go over it. Um, this uh, tune by Bill Withers, "Lovely Day." Uh, you may remember it. When I heard it, I was like, oh, I gotta figure this out. I forgot all about it. All right, so I'm gonna just yell out. Uh, let's see, fifth string, seventh fret. Hit it three times. I did a palm mute. If you don't know that, you lay your palm on the bridge of your guitar and you get a cool sound. So you hit that three times. Then you're going to go to the, the, the seventh fret on the sixth string, you hit it once, and then right back to the fifth string seventh fret. So just like that. Then you're going to go to the sixth string uh, seventh fret to the fifth string seventh fret, and then the fifth string sixth fret. So just like that. So it sounds like. Then I'm on the 5th string 4th fret, and I hit that 3 times, then I go to the 6th string 4th fret once, back to the 5th string 4th uh, fret once. So that sounds like, and I'm going to do the 6th string 4th fret, 5th string 4th fret, like that again. So, so far you're halfway through now, you got... So now you go on the 6th string, you go 4th fret, 5th string, 4th fret, 6th string, 4th fret, right back and forth, just like that. So it sounds like... Now you're on the 6th string, 5th fret for a while, uh, 4 times, dun, 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 dun. I go over the rhythms, but I don't want to lose viewers. <laughs> Sixth string, fourth fret once, back to the fifth fret three times, and then eight, eight, seven, seven, eight, eight, seven, seven on the sixth string. So the whole thing is and you repeat that whole thing twice, and that's your bass part. Halfway through, you know, the, the bass goes through it once, and then you'll hear the keyboard come in with these chords. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? And that's going to be the part of the verse uh, chords, too. So, you got an E chord just like this. Fifth string. Uh, 5th string, 7th fret, 4th uh, string, 3rd string, and 2nd string at the 9th fret. Wish it was an easier way, but there's not. This is about the most difficult chord out there for your beginners. Um, this is not a beginning song. <laughs> Sorry. That's your E chord. I'm going to let it ring for 4 beats. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that 3rd finger right where it is, take my middle finger, 6th string, 9th uh, fret, just like that. 5th string ends up being muted. muted. The first string probably will be muted too, if you finger it like that. There's many different ways to finger this. This is a C sharp minor 7, so you got 1 on the E, 4, and then C sharp minor 7 for 4. Uh, other ways to finger that chord, you could use your first finger and then your thumb, like that at the ninth fret. Uh, many of you will know this one. Uh, you bar the fourth fret, just the top five strings. 2nd string 5th fret, 4th string 6th fret, that's one that's most familiar with most people, so, so you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's also a cool way to do it because it leads right into this next chord, um, so you either do it here, like that, which is very easy, or if you do it like this, then this chord's going to be easy, this is an A major 7th, 6th uh, string, 5th uh, fret, 2nd string, 5th fret, 
fourth string and third string at the sixth fret, you end up muting the fifth and the first. That's an A major seven. You're going to play that for four beats, then hit it a second time for two beats, and then just move it up to the eighth fret. That's a C major seven. So you end up being the sixth string and the second string eighth fret, fourth string and third string at the ninth fret, but really it's the same shape. You just move it up. Okay? You hit that once, and then B minor seven. This is the way I'm going to do it. You're going to see me doing it, uh, but I'll show you different ways to do it. Sixth string, uh, seventh fret, and then you lay down on four, three, and two at the seventh fret. You end up muting the fifth string on that one. That's a B minor seven. Uh, some of you might do it like this with the thumb and the first finger. You could do it like this. You bar the whole uh, seventh fret and then the fifth string, ninth fret, like that. You might be familiar with that. You could also do it like this. That's a B minor seven. Also, that's you bar the second fret. Uh, Second string, third fret, fourth string, fourth fret. Okay, that's probably the first B minor seven you learned. All of those will work. Okay, so those are those are most of the chords that you need. Not all, but most that you need in the song. Okay, so your intro, you got your bass, you let it run through once, and then you come in as a keyboard player as two on an E, and then a C sharp minor seven, and then A major seven, hit it a second time, move it up to C. To B minor seven, so those are just one beat each, and that's those are the chords you need for your intro. Okay, all right, let's travel to the verse now. All right, for the verse we're going to need a cool strumming pattern. So good luck to y'all. All right, let me just play through the verse so you can see. You know, it's uh, I forget what the words are. I always forget what the words are. <laughs> oh, when I wake up in the morning, love. So it's an E chord to a C sharp minor seven. so you can see it. Okay, that's your verse. So, uh, let's see, do we need any new chords? No new chords in this section. So you've got all the chords you need for it. But what you're going to need is on the E chord, let's go through it slowly. There's different ways you can do it. Uh, I'll start off with what I, I think I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm going to go down, down, and then I mute on the third down. So I go down, down, and then I put the pressure back for the up. So it's like down, down. So it's three downs and an up. Down, 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 up. And if you have trouble with the muted one, just go, uh, sorry, that's probably the easiest way to do it and then add the chickas later. Um, so uh, let, yeah, let me give you that one, the easy one. So it's down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And but then I do pretty much that, but I add chickas in it. Uh, the chickas are the muted ones. So down, down, So together it sounds like that was it. So uh, I can't say it at the same time, and, and I don't think. And uh, hopefully you caught on to that. <laughs> and then you go to the C sharp minor seven. Stay on the A major 7. We're going to change the strum to down, 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 up. That's pretty easy. Down, down. And when I do the muted, I just I keep the chord down. I just release the pressure. So, so it's like... Then move it up to the C major 7. This one's pretty easy. You just hit it down once. Release the pressure and do it down, up. Then go to the B minor 7. Do the same thing. So that 
the part that changes is the A major 7, you know, halfway through, or the second measure of it, it's... Okay? So let me play that line for you. second line in the verse is an E again. It's a C sharp minor 7, A major 7, up to the C major 7. Those are all that big strum. And uh, if you don't want to add the chickas in, you can do that and uh, work, you know, work towards getting some of those muted things in there. Okay? So let me play the whole verse for you now, in case you're a little mixed up. This is the main section. There's really three main sections to the song, if you don't count that intro, that I keep repeating over and over again. you got your intro, and then you got your verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then they just keep uh, repeating the chorus at the end, uh, and then they fade out. So, um, so basically, once you reach this spot, you do these three moves over and over again, and just keep repeating the last move, if you want to think of it that way. Okay? Uh, so here we go. Here's the verse. It's only one time through. same strum pattern all the way through. All the chords are nice and equal, uh, so you don't have to change your strum. Once you get that really complicated strum, you're all set. Alright, but you do need to learn some new chords. Let's see what we need. So, uh, I think what I did was um, I grabbed the fifth fret, the top five strings. So I didn't play my sixth string, I shoved my finger right up into it. Whoop. So it's a little muted anyway. So that's a C slash D. did was I moved it from the 5th fret, barring the 5th fret, I barred the 7th fret, the top 5 strings, and again the 6th string I'm not playing, I'm trying to mute it. Okay, and so that's a C slash D to a D slash E. All you're doing is, you know, your C chord like this, you're taking that and you're putting this guy in the bass, and then your D chord, you're taking that guy. So that's an E, so it's a D slash E. This is a C chord, and that's a D in the bass, C slash D. So don't let it get you mixed up. I don't know why people can't figure that out, but it's C slash D. They're just slash chords, they're just changing your bass note. That's all it is. George, I'm talking to you. <laughs> all right, after you do that, you go to A minor seven and then B minor seven. So uh, the way I did it was I did it like this. I'll show you different ways. Um, it's basically the same chord. It's like having that C chord, but now you put the 6th string 5th fret underneath and you mute the 5th string so they're changing places and then you go to the 7th fret so the A minor 7 the way I was playing it was 6th uh, string 5th fret with my middle finger and then I was barring 4, 3 and 2 and 1 with my 3rd finger and then I just moved it up to the 7th fret for the B minor 7 Okay. Um, now you could do it like this, where you, you still have your first finger there and you just wrap your thumb and you end up muting the fifth string as best you can. That's another way to do it. You could do it like this. If you like a more full sound, you bar the whole fifth fret, fifth string seventh fret, and then you just move it up to the 7th fret, that's a B minor 7. So A minor 7 to B minor 7. So this whole pre-chorus is when I look at you. And it repeats. So C slash D to D slash E. A minor 7 to B minor 7. Right into the chorus. Sorry. C major 7 to the B minor 7, and it repeats E. 
have to learn any new chords. So the chorus is an E chord again. That same long strong pattern. C sharp minor 7 again. This is the lovely day part, you know, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. A major 7, C major 7 to the B minor 7. So that part right there, when you go up to the C major 7, you're going to go down, down, so that's a down up. So down, down, down up, B minor 7, down, 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 down up, okay? And then that just keeps repeating over and over again, so you got... times through that's what I'm calling a chorus because that's what they do um, like I said at the end of the song they just keep repeating that figure over and over again and fade out so if you don't have the ability to fade out you can end on an E chord if you need to end the song eventually um, all right so you got your intro verse pre-chorus chorus verse pre-chorus chorus again verse pre-chorus chorus and then just keep repeating that chorus uh, a number of times. I didn't write how many times they do, but you know, you'll figure it out. Uh, that's Lovely Day. Uh, thank you to Bill Withers, another great song. And um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe, hit that like button, will you? And uh, play more guitar. <laughs>